So just another quick video about effect modules on controllers and why they sometimes don't act like you expect them to act. This is based on a question I got on Facebook. And a lot of times your effect module will look like this. So three buttons and three knobs. That's the old way of doing it, the, the probably still primary way of doing it for handling three effects at the same time. Uh, that's also been uh, other kind of ways of doing it now. So down here I have a DDJ 400 that has just like a channel kind of effect here. And uh, that's the, uh, the, 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 the recent pioneer way of doing it. So that's like it is in the mixes also. And over here I have a, uh, a reloop body and that has the pedal effects that has now been made famous on Pioneer battle mixers, but also on other controllers now. But uh, this video is all about uh, the SR up here, the old way of doing it. So uh, that's what we're gonna focus on from now on. So as you can see, you would probably expect that you could turn on three effects and change their value by changing uh, these three knobs and the three buttons. And that is also what is probably uh, the default. So I can turn on music. I can turn off my first effect, and I get a nice little echo. But then I then when I turn on the second effect, I don't get anything. So why is that? Well, it's actually changing the effect on the first button. So if I turn that on now, I get distortion. But that's probably not what you want when you have this kind of layout. So. Um, so why is that? Well, it's actually, of course, all about the mapping. But if you look up here and go into the mapping, up here, and I go down to the, uh, the effects on here, and the, the, the problem was on the, the second button, you can actually see that it either turns on or off the second effect, or it changes the selected effect, which is the one in the first slot. But that's based on something called effect three slots layout. So what's that? Well, that's actually an internal variable that can have a value. And this means that your controller will act according to that variable. Okay, so how do we change that? Well, it actually changes automatically usually. So if I go back here, you can see I've actually mapped this to a custom button so we can, so we can see what's happening. And as you can see over here, that button is actually currently turned off. It's gray. It's not turned on on this deck. So why is that? Well, that's because the layout over here only show one effect. So how do I change that to three effects? Well, depending on what you have selected down here, you just click the effects here. Now I have three effects. Now this is turned on. And now if I go down to my controller and press play again, the first button is the echo, but my second button is the second one selected up here, which is currently loop out. So that's now a loop out, pretty slow one. Like this, or more clearly probably the third one is Backspin, like that. So just by clicking this on the skin, I move from a single effect layout to three effect layout, and that's actually changing what the controller does. This could of course be different if someone has changed the mapping. So I need to check the mapping and see if this effects three slots variable is part of the map mapping. But it gets a little bit weirder because then if I go to the other deck, that's currently in one effect mode. So right now, if I press the button over here, they won't act like I expect them to act. But if I change that two times to three effect modes and back again, you can see this global variable turns off. That means that now I have a three effect lay layout over here and I think everything is hunky dory. So I play, press play. Press the first button down here to get echo. And then I expect I can press the third one to get backspin. But I don't. I instead, instead change the first one. 
And that's because, that's because of this variable, because it's a global one. So by changing it, by changing the layout over at deck B, I actually also changed how deck A works. So that could get a little confusing. So the important part here is to check your, your script that is in your mapping and make sure uh, that this is set how you want it. The effect three slots uh, um, variable is set how you want it. Usually just by making sure that all decks are in three deck mode. If you want a three deck lay layout, if you want the three buttons to be the three separate effects. So all decks. If you still feel that it gets out of, out of tune, out of, uh, out of hand for you, can, there's also settings for it. So if you go into settings and options and you click in effects. Here you can see we have three effects layout and six effects layout. Six effects layout is pretty new. So let's not talk about this in this video, but you can also set it in here. That's the same as the variable. I also changed the variable. So now you can see, now I'm back to this being on. This actually also changed the skin back up here. That means that all my decks are now in three effects mode. And it means that my button will now act like I expect with play. And let's do the backspin, the third one up here. So like you would expect. So that's basically it. So remember, if this happens to you, check uh, to see that all your decks are in three effects mode in the layout here. And you can check this variable if you want to, or you can set it in the settings to set it at the same time. And then if your mapping is like it, it is by default for most controllers that has this kind of layout uh, with the three knobs and the three buttons, then it should work as handling three effects at the same time.